Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Doug Iliff of Topeka about preventing heart attacks. Thanks for being here today, Dr. Iliff. You're welcome, Amy. Now, what are some of the risks that we can uh, prevent when we're talking about heart attacks? Well, the first thing to understand is that nearly a million people will have a heart attack this mm -hmm. year in the United States. But the good news is that that's about 75% less than when I was a kid. Both of my grandfathers died of heart attacks before I went to kindergarten, and that's really unusual now. Uh, the other good news is that about 90% of heart attacks are under, the risk factors at least, are under our control. Okay, and what are the risks? Well, the three big risks uh, that are controllable by, by the doctor and patient together are um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. If I have a cooperative patient who's willing to work with me, we can always control those problems, or nearly always. Mm -hmm. uh, the one other big risk factor is smoking. And of course, uh, stopping smoking is paramount. That drops your risk about 50%. Mm -hmm. And how about exercise? Well, exercise is really, really important as we've come to understand in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, if a person takes a brisk 45 minute walk four times a week, they drop their risk of heart attack by about 70%. Um, now, a lot of people will say, well, I'm way too busy to do that. I can't take a 45 minute walk. But, you know, a 10 minute walk every day will drop your risk of heart attack about 50%. And so that's just really exceptional. Um, on the other hand, sitting in front of a TV for four hours a day or in front of a computer screen for four hours straight increases your risk about 50%. And so it's a balance, but the more exercise you can get, the better. Now, I've heard that people with type A personalities tend to be more at risk. Well, that's true, but there are different types of type A personalities. There was an interesting study done by uh, Duke University researchers not too far back. They followed a group of doctors for 25 years. Now, doctors are all type A personalities, at least all Duke doctors are. And so it was a, it was a representative sample of this type of person. Um, they divided them into three groups. There was a group that was high in hostility, and there was a group that was low in hostility, and a group that was somewhere in the middle. Of the 255 doctors, uh, at the end of 25 years, 37 had died in the high hostility group and only five in the low hostility group, which may explain why there are less hostile doctors today than there used to be. <laughs> and what about our vegetables? Should we all be eating those? Yeah, we really should. And there was a study just published in JAMA yesterday, actually, which, which got to this point. Fresh fruits and vegetables, a high uh, glycemic index diet is really excellent. If you have a choice, shop in the outer aisles at the, at the grocery store. That's where all the fresh stuff is. The inner aisles are where the high fat, high processed food are. Try to avoid that if you possibly can. Okay, great. Good information. Thank you for being here today. You're welcome. Please join us next week for a new health topic discussion on house calls.